kuendelea kuwa nasi. Muungano wa kilimo cha sukari na wafanyakazi wa shirika sasa wanaitaka serikali kuipiga kalamu bodi ya wakurugenzi wa kampuni ya kusagamiwa ya Nzoia kwa kile wanachosema wameshindwa katika wajibu wake wa kurejesha kampuni hiyo katika enzi zake za utukufu. Kwa mujibu wa katibu mkuu wa muungano huo Francis Wangala, halmashauri ya wakurugenzi imeshindwa kufanikisha hata ukarabati mdogo wa kiwanda ambao unaigharamisha uswagaji wa miwa. Bramo Bwire na maelezo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alipotangaza Rais William Ruto mwezi Februari mwaka huu akiwa katika ziara yake kaunti ya Bungoma kuwa ameondoa deni la shilingi bilioni ya msini lililodaiwa kampuni ya Nzoia wadau katika sekta hiyo waliona ishara ya ufufuzi wa kiwanda hiki. Hata hivyo miezi saba baadaye bado masaibu ni yale yale kutolipwa kwa wakulima na kutosogwa miwa kwa kiwango kifacho wakizungumza jijini Kisumu muungano wa kilimo cha miwa na wafanyakazi wa shirika wamepeleka vita hadi milangoni mwa halmashauri ya wakurugenzi madai yao yakiwa nishati bodi inayoongozwa na Alfred Hangati iwajibike kwa hali ya sasa ya kampuni au itimuliwe the company that is now using 17 tons of sugar going to 20 tons of sugar to produce a ton of 17 tons of cane to produce a ton of sugar it is there is that amounts to a total wastage and on that note we appeal to the government to take an urgent action more so to hold the board of directors accountable for the titration of the operations mungano huo pia unapendekeza serikali kupitia wizara kuiokoa kampuni hiyo kwa kuwekeza fedha moja kwa moja ili kampuni iweze kufanya marekebisho makubwa kwenye kiwanda hicho If the government is committed to making sure that the company is running then this is the time that is a bit more urgent than ever that we need money that the company stops the ordering of spares and I would suggest that if money is brought let them do it the way they were doing in Chemiril and Mohoroni so that the spares are brought directly and paid by the agricultural by the ministry direct not to bring money to the company Bramuel Bire, 